There are so many ways to dial in killer guitar tones, especially with how good amp sims now sound. In this clip, Joey and Nick show how they dial in low, mid, and high gain tones, designed to work with each other and stack up to create a fantastic guitar sound. Check it out and maybe give it a go in your next production. In this song, we were given two guitar DI tracks, a left and a right, or an A and a B, as we like to say, so it's less confusing. And we duplicated it twice so that we had three layers. So we have the original ones, then we had a copy of the original ones, and then another copy of the original ones. Correct me if I'm wrong, Nick, mm -hmm. but I think the workflow on this is get the guitar tone with just the two, and once you have that tone, duplicate it again, then you tweak the tone yeah. on the duplicate, then you duplicate it again, you tweak the tone on the, on the last one. The reason why we're doing that is because we want a high, mid, and a low gain. So we want a high gain, mid gain, low gain, right? Yeah. So you get the high gain tone first. And we're using, um, so show the pot farm first. Yeah, this is just a gate. So we're just using this as a gate, so we don't have to edit anything. Then we've got Neural DSP Archetype Nolly. And you'll have to go through the settings. Yeah. They're, they're going to want to see all the settings. I asked Nick earlier today, I was like, how did you come up with the settings for this? He was like, I loaded Juicy Chug. <laughs> I tweaked a little bit, but yeah. Was it just because the name was awesome or you like yeah. how it sounded? <laughs> this is what the power we have today with plugins. So you could hit play and you just go through the presets and you're like, which one do I like? And then mm -hmm. you're like, well, I like this one, but it doesn't have enough bottom end right. or I want to change the impulse or let me add an overdrive to that. And it's just kind of like a natural process from there. Yeah. Here we go. So I don't know what model this is, but is there a name for that? I don't know. Well, not a guitar guy. So yeah, you guys out there sounds well, good. You guys <laughs> probably know everything about this plugin. We we just open it and pick a preset and turn a couple knobs and close yeah. it. So I, know it's <laughs> I head, don't really know. Yeah, head three and cab three. <laughs> I think it's fifty one fifty. I could be wrong, but I think. Okay. Yeah. What's the pedals again? Let's do that. So, so yeah, you got just, a compressor and overdrive. Yeah. Okay. EQ. Okay. Some EQ moves here. And this might have been part of the preset. Yeah. So. Might have just left it on. Yeah. Yeah, and this is probably the same thing with this. But yeah, you can see all the positions and stuff, and then no effects. No effects. So then that goes into the EQ little. What is that? Three K. Yeah, taming that like little hissy resonance frequency that you also often hear on guitars. So then once Nick's got that tone, he's like, okay, I like that tone, but now I want to beef it up. Yeah. So he'll duplicate the two tracks, and so as soon as you do that, those two tracks have the same tone on them, right? Mm -hmm. But then you can just open up that plugin and make a couple tweaks and yeah. it looks like you changed the amp maybe yep you changed the microphones around did you mess around with the gain some maybe yeah i think it might have just been another different preset just looking for that like spank tone you can hear it when I we'll it. show you yeah. what these sound like And so the way I would explain this to you guys is like the top two guitar tracks is designed to create basically 90% of the guitar tone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like your tone, but here's the problem. That tone sounds great, but then there's like no definition. So when you add this next layer... That gives you a little bit more audible information of what the strings are doing or like what the uh, pick attack is doing, right? And then what's this one, this bottom one? Yeah, this is kind of same thing. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm using three different amps and three different cabs. So yeah, compressor, compressor, overdrive, overdrive. probably part of the preset. Yeah, settings, EQ. Looks like you jumped in there and pulled the yeah. 250 hertz out. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that'd be in the preset. No. And then just one mic this time. Yep. No effects. Top row is quote unquote the tone. Then layer one is like the strings. Yeah. And then layer two or is even more string information yeah. or more attack, I guess is the best word to say. Yeah. Not this string. gets that like string top end. This is like strings like saturated a little bit. And this is the tone. Because now we're going to send all three of those layers into a bus, but we don't want them to all be at the same level. Right. Because if you have those string, some of those string layers too loud, it's going to sound real goofy. Okay. So, so we did um, linked the panners. And you can mess with this as much as you want. Like...
I don't know if you guys know this, but like that's that's like a Meshuggah trick right there. Their guitar tones often have like almost DI level sounding stuff mm -hmm. on top of the tone so that you can get the like the gain and the girth of the tone from all the high gain stuff, but then you don't lose that clarity of the pick attack. And that's like just one way to do it is yeah. the way we did it here. And then all that goes into a bus, which we'll show you now. We did have the levels for the, the routing was the, the individual tracks where the levels were set. So then based on that, there was an L1 now to smash it down. Yeah. And then what's really cool is when you use the center plugin that we're going to show you here. I like this because this is a way to think about getting the the mid and the side at the right volume level without having to go back and fuck with the panners. You can just leave your panners 100% uh, left and right and then use center to then further control how stereo widening yeah, the mono and, and the mono like the balance between the stereo and the mono. You can just use this plugin to do that without having to go in and fuck with faders and panners my brain works like this like i, I just want to see center and sides i don't want to be thinking about volume levels and panning it works much better for my brain and looks like you just boosted the center because it probably fell out a little yeah. bit it will show you like we'll pull this up and down so you can yeah. hear it was So that's that's a good way to like get your some of your um, mono information back. Push the guitars a little bit forward in the mix, and then this is another widening plugin that we're using just to add a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of width. Yeah. And again, doesn't matter that we're going in the red on all these plugins. Yeah. It doesn't matter in Cubase. Yeah. <laughs> then an OTT to make them a little more exciting. I guess go to a chuggy part. Oh, uh, this is for chugs. Yeah. Yeah. You'll notice that when the guitar stops, you see that little meter jump up. It That's kind of boosting the little tails of the chugs. That's a trick that we've used for a long time now. Yeah. I think we just felt like, you know, when we were mixing all these bands, it played like a million breakdowns. So like something was missing and standing in like a room with an amp and then somebody plays a chug and they like, and it has like this like woof, like this oof sound disappears when you put it inside the box and this kind of it was a way to like try and bring that back right. it's like a solution that we found yeah so basically when the guitar pops and then the, the transient slams back in it's just gonna like push it up through the roof yeah neat little trick up the top end <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. So yeah, just removing the baby crying sound that I said earlier, <laughs> 2200, 2400, removing 4K ish and boosting 14K. I love boosting 14K on almost anything. I don't know. That's like my favorite frequency to boost. Makes everything sound expensive. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the guitars. And that goes into that guitar bus goes into track, track spacer. spacer.